So as you guys know, tomorrow is the expected release date for title update 1.0.3 for Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Just about an hour ago, Ubisoft went ahead and released the official patch notes for this, where we obviously go ahead and get some information on some of the new features that are going to be implemented with this, as well as all of the bug fixes and improvements and the exact size of how big the update is going to be. So in today's video, we're going to be going over all of that information as quick as possible, because honestly, out of all my years of covering Ghost Recon content, this has to be the biggest patch notes I have seen yet. So anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and waste no more time and get right into the video. So for starters, title update 1.0.3 will be available tomorrow, November 12th at approximately four o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Now we are expected to have the servers down for a total of one hour and 15 minutes. So so assuming they do stick to schedule the server should be back online at 5 15 in the morning eastern standard time now keep in mind that usually this gets pushed back about sometimes 15 maybe even 45 minutes sometimes so i would go with maybe six o'clock in the morning for sure it's going to be live now each platform is going to have their own size for the actual update itself uh, for xbox one we have seven gigabytes playstation 4 seven gigabytes and the uplay as well as the epic game store will be 6.7 gigabytes now like i said at the start of this video the patch notes for this update are just incredibly long just to put it in perspective of how long these patch notes actually are they made a patch highlight section within the actual patch notes itself which i can confirm has never been in any of the patch notes prior to this one so for the sake of the length of the video i'm going to go ahead and cover the stuff that's in the highlight list and then i'm going to pluck out a couple of different things from the other individual list that were made in the rest of the patch notes but of course like always i will be doing a little bit of a slideshow of the entire patch list and the section that i am talking about so you guys can pause the video and read up on anything that I do miss and if that isn't something that you're interested in I will have all the links that you need in the description so make sure that you guys go and check that out all right so to get started on all these new systems that are being added let's go ahead and touch up on the things that I already mentioned in my previous video so for starter the new cover switch system here it says players can now do a camera shoulder swap while in cover it will also rotate the main player on the spot so if you remember in my previous video that I made about title update 1.0.3 I showed you guys the preview, which I will show again in the background. Now, another thing that I did mention within the previous video was the changes that are coming to stamina. More specifically, we have an increase to the base stamina by 66%. We have increased stamina regen speed by 75%, and we have reduced the stamina consumed when sliding by 50%. So as you guys can see from the preview, it is actually a night and day difference on how much stamina is being wasted and how much stamina is being regened at the rate that it's being regened. I did read some of the comments that you guys had to put about this in my previous video, and it seemed like a lot of you were not very happy with the changes that were being made to stamina. Given in that video, I didn't even give the exact details. So now that you guys do know the exact details, let me know in the comments on how you feel about this. Anyways, moving on now to the last thing that we touched up on the previous video and to give you guys a little more detail on it that is the night vision goggles if you guys remember i told you that this was one of the things that a lot of you were really being picky about and for that ubisoft went ahead and mentioned in the patch notes it says realign the angle of the panoramic night vision goggles to align better with the character's eyes if i'm not mistaken prior to this update the night vision goggles were somewhere aligned with the nose which honestly details of that level don't really trigger me that much but i can understand where you guys are coming from especially since i did take a look at it at one point and it was extremely noticeable but regardless all of those issues have now been taken care of with the title update that is coming out tomorrow now for the next part of this i'm going to go over the other small little details that were mentioned within the actual highlights itself but i'm going to go ahead and rapid fire through all of these changes so that that way we can go ahead and get all of these through since there is a lot that we need to go over so with that being said let's go ahead and get started first with the pve changes here we have fix an issue that caused the drone to stop deploying on some occasions fix the bug that caused some players to respawn under the map Fix an issue where changing fire rate while ADS deployed the drone. Fix an issue where L3 GP night vision goggles blocked the weapon reticle while in third person view. Fix an issue where the mission completion tutorial pop up would display after every loading screen. Thank God that this is fixed. That was super annoying. Improvements made to the issue where scopes would flicker when players ADS. Mission interaction is now prioritized over vehicle interaction. And fix the bug where players could get stuck after using their ability or frags while Panther class is equipped. Now keep in mind, I know that I did say this at the start of the video, but I wanna say it again. 
everything that I just mentioned is not even 10% of what was added into the patch. So really quickly now, I'm going to go over some of the things that I chose out of the patch list that I really feel you guys need to know about. So let's go ahead and get into the very first thing that I want to mention. Now, if you guys remember, not too long ago, I uploaded a glitch video on how to get inside the scale office. Well, it looks like starting tomorrow, that video is not going to be necessary anymore because it says fix an issue that prevented players from accessing the scales last log collectible. So hypothetically speaking, tomorrow when the patch goes live, you will be able to walk up to that door and it will finally open now aside from that a lot of you were sending me screenshots and messages about this specific thing that i'm going to cover next and that is a random prop that was out in the middle of the ocean i did go ahead and go out into the ocean and record this prop which after investigating it for a long time we ended up coming to realize that it's actually one of the road pieces that was thrown out in the middle of the ocean i don't know if maybe that was put there as a placeholder or something but i never really made a video about it because i didn't want to lead you guys on to thinking that it was something more than it really was but for that specific thing they went ahead and wrote in the patch notes it says remove the prop structure that was floating in the middle of the ocean along with that those of you that were aware of the hole in the map that was located somewhere in mount hodgson that hole has now been patched and will no longer be there starting tomorrow now the next two things on the list are going to be weapons related the first one being flashbangs can now blind through vegetation as well as fix an issue where the malder rail was overlapping with the built-in iron sight of the a2 asr next one on the list is a visual bug that a lot of you were commenting to me about which is the binoculars and the thermal vision it says fix an issue where the thermal vision and binoculars was not working properly at night so like i said i know a lot of you were mentioning this in the comments and telling me if there was any word about this or if anybody had informed them and it turns out that yes indeed they have been informed and this will be fixed tomorrow now for the next thing on the list we're going to be revisiting the cover system as i said before the camera shoulder swap at cover is going to be added now with the update tomorrow but on top of that we're also going to be getting a couple of other new things with the cover cover system so here it says lean aiming is now available from a wider distance and the avatar is less likely to be seen on top of that we have looking over and peeking off a cover is now easier to do when holding the movement input towards the cover this is something that i was definitely having a lot of issues with so even myself i'm really excited to see that but finally it says increase the angle to preserve the orientation of the avatar when stopping to aim over a cover up to 45 degrees so the camera stays more often on its initial side so definitely a lot of great changes coming to the cover system tomorrow that i'm extremely excited to try out now for the final thing that we're going to be going over really quickly i'm not even going to read through them i'm just going to show you guys in the background that is all of the ghost war changes that are coming now the reason that i won't be going over this list is because the list is extremely long at least compared to the other ghost war updates that we've got in for instance in wildlands and stuff like that so yeah with that out of the way it's pretty safe to say that the update tomorrow is going to be probably one of the biggest improvements and bug fixes we've ever seen in ghost recon so i'm definitely really curious to see what you guys have to say about this in the comments and obviously if you guys don't see a fix for your problem in these patch notes let me know in the comments what it is that you guys are having an issue with and also make sure to keep in mind that at the end of this month we should be getting another title update which would be 1.0.3.1 so if you didn't see your fix with this title update it's very possible that you will see it with the next one but anyways if you guys enjoyed the video and found it informative make sure to drop a like on it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all types of breakpoint content i'm honestly really excited for tomorrow and it's going to feel really refreshing to be able to get on and not have a bunch of mission notifications popping up hopefully we can see breakpoint do a complete 180 here in the next couple of weeks especially with the introduction of raids and the terminator event that's coming sometime within december and january but anyways looking forward to reading the comments like always i'm gonna see you guys in the next video take care